What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys and welcome back now this story almost passed me by but uh, I'm sure you may or may not have heard about the three US I'm sorry UCLA basketball players who were arrested for shoplifting in China now they were there in China to play a game against the Georgia Tech now one of the players, there was three freshman players, uh, Jalen Hill, Cody Riley, and Leangelo Ball. Now, they have been accused of shoplifting sunglasses from a Louis Vuitton store in a high-end mall near where the team hotel was early last week. Now, ESPN now has reported there is surveillance video of them also stealing from two additional stores. Now, uh, Lee Angelo Ball is the younger brother of Los Angeles Laker rookie Lonzo Ball and the son of the outspoken basketball entrepreneur LeVar Ball. Now, the flamboyant self-promoter accompanied he was there. He accompanied the team to China to film his reality TV show and briefly opened a couple of outlet stores to sell the family's big baller brand sneakers. Well, um, they were um, the three basketball players who were bond out, but they could not leave with their team. Now, they're going to have to stay in China for about, they're thinking, one or two more weeks. And they are confined to that hotel with a representative there to make sure they stay at the hotel. Now, um, what they are reporting now, you know, uh, President Trump was over in China on last week. And a lot of people had said, Oh, well, you know, he hadn't said anything about the um, the boys over there who have been arrested uh, for shoplifting. Well, we find we found out today that President Trump lobbied for Leangelo Ball and UCLA teammates, according to the White House. Now, Chinese lawyers agreed on one thing last week when discussing the complicated case of the three UCLA basketball players arrested for shoplifting. Now, the quickest path to leniency uh, through the strict and arbitrary Chinese criminal justice system was simple. Have President Donald Trump lobby Chinese President uh, during Trump's visit last week to the country. Now, President Trump can beg mercy to his Chinese counterpart. But now we know, knowing Trump, he did not beg. He's not going to beg for anything. But the Washington Post reported Monday that he did raise the issue with the China president. According to spokesperson Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Now, they say that Trump personally asked uh, China's president to help resolve the case, the Post reported. Now, citing an unnamed U.S. official, uh, China president reportedly said he would look into the case and ensure the players are treated fairly and expeditiously. That same official said the charges have been reduced. So I'm sure, because when I first heard this story break, I was like, oh no, you know, China have so, they're 
their criminal system is nothing like ours. Their the uh, stricter punishment for uh, lesser crimes than we have. So I was like, oh my goodness, they might be trapped over there. They might, you know, serve a lot of years over there. But you know, we'll just have to. Um, we just have to find out. Now, um, you know, the uh, Leangelo's father is staying hush hush. He's he's low profile, and and the only thing he has said that oh they'll be all right. Everybody's making such a big deal. They'll be all right. So maybe the father know more than we know. <laughs> you know, maybe you know. He knows more than we know, and that they will just get a, a pat on the hand. Now, why on earth would this boy be shoplifting when I'm sure his brother or his father could get him anything he wants? Now, that that just blows me away because, uh, you know, but for whatever reason, they say they do have them on surveillance footage. Showing him and his uh, 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 teammates stealing. So, I don't know. Maybe it was peer pressure or what have you. But, you know, they picked the wrong country to steal out of. But we will be following this case. We will be following it uh, to see what happened to these young men. And I hope they'll be able to just get a pat on the hand and be able to uh, return home soon. So praying for the families of these young boys. And as always, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always in parting, be blessed y'all. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.